everyone and welcome to Healthy Budget Friendly Cooking with Food Smart, where we give you all the tips you'll need to create tasty, affordable, and healthy meals at home. Okay, so first let's start with the pantry. I try to keep everything organized and stacked in mine so I can actually see what I have in there. Otherwise it gets buried and items never get used. And one of the biggest tips for cooking on a budget is not to waste food. So here on this drawer I have all my vinegars and oils, bonus flavorings like mirin, hot sauces, and tahini. And then as you look back, I have my olive oils, and then on this side, I have all my dried spices and herbs. All of these items are key to adding a boost of flavor to your dishes in a healthy way. Then down here, I have my canned goods and other staples like nut butter, honey, and jarred items like roasted red peppers, capers, and pickled jalapenos. And then in this basket, I like to keep my onions and potatoes in a nice, cool, dark space. And that's a quick overview of what I reach for most in my pantry. We've also provided this healthy pantry essentials list, so feel free to take a screenshot so you can help organize your own pantry at home. These are some of my most loved items. So a few of my favorite combos from the pantry are canned whole tomatoes and chickpeas to make a hearty vegetarian or vegan chole masala or stew. Or I like to use a combo of canned beans and ground turkey for a kid-friendly chili night with all the fixings set out. And canned fish is something I always reach for. I use this to flake into a salad or mix with some canned beans, vinegar, and chopped veggies for an Italian style salad. I always buy tins packed in oil so that I can use the oil that it's packed in for my recipes. Another money saving tip is to stroll the bulk section. When I get home, I transfer my items from the plastic bags into containers so that I can see what I've bought. I use old jars, deli containers, and even my kids' lunchbox containers, anything that's clear. And after I make the transfer, I always want to label my items with the date I bought them so I know what to use first and how long it's been hanging around. In professional kitchens, we call this FIFO or first in, first out. That means you always use the oldest item first. Other items I keep on hand are plenty of citrus for squeezing into dressings and over soups, stews, and pastas. I like to keep them in this basket so air still circulates around them so they keep longer in the pantry. I also love to have different kinds of hot sauce. You can pick your family's favorite. Tahini to drizzle into dressings and on top of grilled vegetables and meats. And I always am looking for something pickled like capers or pickled jalapenos. And I like to make my own pickled onions to add crunch, acid, and sweetness to any meal. Okay, so now that we've tackled the pantry, let's move on to the fridge. Okay, so here's my refrigerator at home. Let's see what's inside. All right, we get the doors open, and then up here is where I keep all my open pickled items and my condiments like chili garlic sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, miso, and tahini. All of these add authentic, healthy flavor. Then I have my nuts and seeds. I love hemp seeds for thickening sauces and dressings without adding oil. And in my crisper drawer, I keep all my leafy greens in these reusable mesh bags to save money on plastic bags, and they're better for the environment. I bundle my herbs in damp paper towels and try to keep the drawers organized so I know what's in each side. Leftovers get an eye level spot so I remember to use them for lunches and cheese and proteins go in the bottom drawer. I tuck condiments into the side doors because they don't need to be kept as cold. So when I get my produce home, I like to spend a few minutes prepping my fruits and veggies so they are ready to go come mealtime. This saves time and helps reduce waste. Herbs get washed and dried and rolled into paper towels so that they stay fresh longer. So now that you've got some great tips and tricks to use in your kitchen, let's put together a few healthy, budget-friendly meals. So here we've got an easy tofu noodle bowl. I added some shredded cabbage, some red pepper strips that I cut up in advance, a handful of leftover noodles, you can use lo mein or even spaghetti, and I had some cooked cubed tofu that I sprinkled some sesame seeds on for my pantry. I even had some chopped toasted peanuts, so I put them on there for some extra protein and crunch. And with a quick drizzle of soy sauce or your favorite Asian dressing, this bowl is ready to hit the dinner table or packed into a hearty lunch. Coming in at just under $3 a serving, it's so affordable. And you can easily customize it with leftover chicken, pork, or even some cube steak. Another great option is the salmon bowl, which can easily be swapped for canned tuna. Add some greens, brown rice, and frozen edamame for extra texture and protein, and you've got a delicious meal in no time. We hope you learned some great ideas to make healthy, affordable meals in your home kitchen. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you soon.